Do you want to add custom claims to your user's ID tokens on Out0 but don't know how? Fret not my friend, I've got you covered. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add custom claims to your user's ID tokens using Actions. Before you get started on creating our first actions and adding a little bit of information on our ID tokens, I want to show you the app that I'm using to demonstrate how to do that. So I've created a single page application inside my Odd Zero dashboard and downloaded the React sample that you can find in the quick start from that application. And I already got that running here. I installed uh, the packages that I need, and I follow the readme instructions on that sample to configure that into my Out0 dashboard. And let me show you what that looks like. So here I have my application. This is the first page you see once it is running, and that's the home page. And I can log in here, and it's going to show my login box. And I can see here my email and password, and I can log in. As you can see, I'm a person that loves dog, uh, dogs. I'm a dog person. And once that loads, uh, you see that not much change into my application. But I can see here that I have a profile picture, at least a standard one, because I haven't changed that. If I go to my profile, you can see here that I have some details of my ID token for that user profile. And what I wanted to do is actually add a picture of a dog in my profile page so that a person that loves dogs like me can see a cute dog uh, whenever they logs in and go into their profile page. And the way to do that, I'm going to be using the user's ID token. So now that you know how the application uh, works, let's go into our Odd0 dashboard and create a first action. And we are only going to use one action, actually, and then update the code for our application. And the way to do this is once you go into your dashboard, I'm already seeing the details from my application that I call Dog5. I'm very creative with names for my applications. And on your left-hand menu, you can go into Actions, and you're going to see two options, Flows. There are the flows that you usually see, like logging flow, uh, MFA, and things like that, and library, where you can see available actions uh, from the marketplace and ones that you have created. So let's go into flows. And I want to use and update my logging flow. And once it loads, you can see here that this is my login flow. Currently, I don't have any actions to extend this login flow, but let's create our first one. And it's going to be a custom action. So if I come in here, and you can see that I don't have any custom actions yet, and I can click on the plus sign, and I can create a new action by clicking on build custom action. And in this, menu you can choose the name for your action how it's triggered which part of the flow it it is used and the runtime let's leave the runtime as it is and since i'm already going to add this to my logging flow i'm going to leave the trigger as is and create the name so i'm going to use assign random dog because i'm going to use an api i hope an api uh, in free one to add a random dog to the user profile. So once you do that, once you create your action, you can see the actions editor. And this actor is actually really good because it's going to help you do a lot of things. First, let me show you something. Um, here we have modules. That's where you can install your NPM modules. And we're going to use one external modules. As long as the module doesn't need any bindings, uh, you should be fine and be able to use it. This is, if you click on the little key there, you can store your secrets safely. So for example, if you're going to use an API that needs an API key to access, you can use that to store that API key and test where you can try it out your actions and see the results and the budget if you need it before deploying it. So that's really good as well. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is actually change a little bit of the code I've got here. So what I wanted to do is actually access one external API and grab a random dog picture. Uh, so to do that, we're going to need an NPM module and the module is called Axios. So let's add that module here. And by default, it's going to bring out the latest uh, version of any module that I want, but you can edit the version if you need a specific version for your usage. And I can create, and this makes Axios available on our runtime. And if I close this, I can then add Axios to my code. And you can see that the editor auto completes and show options to you on how to edit the code. Okay, now I have Axios and I can use it. So the API that I'm going to use is actually an API from dog.co. And you can see that here. And the endpoint that I need is actually an endpoint for random pictures. And this is the path. image random and if you access that you're going to receive a message um, saying a uh, link a uh, url to a uh, image from a dog and the status of your request there was a success and his answer if something goes wrong you're going to see that in here as well so if i go back to my actions i'm going to use this URL to make my request using the actions ones. And I'm going to call the answer to my request, um, random dog. And this is done by calling actions, doing a get, passing along the URL for my endpoint. And if I do my semicolon here to not have any problems, now this random dog will be a structure of a message and a status so inside of my request response and to add that to my user id token that is a very easy way to access that type of information so first things first i want to check whether or not the event that i'm going to be analyzing is happening during authorization uh, so the event in this case brings details about the user on the uh, the context of login. So I'm going to do a check if event is doing authorization purposes. Authentication authorization. Me and my typos. And the thing I want to do is actually use the API object. That is when I can use that interface to access the methods to change the behavior during login. So let's use API and you can see here the editor is super friendly and already gave me options so that I can use. I could do edit the access token, adding multi factor or something like that. But what I want is ID token. And if I select that, I can then see the method for setting a custom claim. So let's set the custom claim. And so a good standard here to avoid clashing of your custom claims with a standard uh, claim is to add a URL as a basis for your claim. So I'm going to do that and it can be anywhere URL. It doesn't have to be uh, something that exists. And I'm going to call it uh, dogify because that's the name of my application mm -hmm. .com slash random dog, which is actually, which actually is the name of my claim. Random dog. This way I avoid having clashing issues with other standard claims to access the data that we want. That is the message, the URL for the dog picture. We're going to use random dog dot data and then access the data that we want. That is message. And now we should be able to try out our action for the first time. And I'm going to save this as a draft. And that allows me to try out 
my actions without having to deploy it or add it to an any flow. So once I come in here in my test tab, and you can see here that I already have some details about the events that I'm going to be doing. And if I run this, if you run this without saving, it is going to save your actions as a draft. Oh, I forgot something. Uh, so once we do a request, we need to add an await here. Oh, of course. Now let's try to save the draft and run it again. And we're going to see the test results. And there you go. Now the commands that we run. Uh, so we are going to add this custom claim to my ID token. And I know this is going to add a custom claim because we're going to be using the type of the command that I'm running is set custom claim. And the value for that custom claim is this image here. So if I copy this, uh, actually going to see a image there. Oh, that's so cute. Beautiful dog. And now if I go back, I can deploy this and it takes a while, but once it's done, it's done. You can go back to your flow and add that action that is on your custom tab into your flow and you drag and drop and that's it. Don't forget to apply in this way. The next time a user logs into your application, it is going to be assigned a render doc. Now notice I didn't um, add this yet. So if I go into my user management page and if I go into my users, you're going to see that I have two users here. I have my uh, auto zero user and I have my love dogs user. And if I go into that one, you can see that no extra information is on the metadata because, well, I'm not editing that. And that is my devices, histories and everything else. Uh, so I did a success exchange here that when I logged in, And these are the details of my user, right? So that's the name. That is my email that I signed up, the nickname, which is usually uh, before the ad on the email, the picture and so on and so forth. Now, if I go back to my application and since it's logged in, I'm going to log out and logging back again. So here's my user password and I can log in. And now if I go back to my profile page, because I want to see the contents of my ID token, you're going to see here that now I have my random dog picture. And notice that every time we log in or that I get a new ID token, you're going to see a different picture, which is awesome. Now let's go back to my application code because while well, having this here is cool and all, but I don't want people to have to copy this URL and then paste it on another tab to see the actual image. I'm going to edit my application and add in this image as part of the profile page. So the way to do that is you go back to your application code, go into SRC, views, and you should find your profile.js file. And here we have the code. Let me hide this terminal a little bit. And we have the code for the profile uh, page. So here we have the user, the user picture. That's the profile picture, the username and things like that. And I'm going to add a new thing here that whenever a user has a random dog uh, on their ID token, we are going to display that into my application. And because I already have that code ready, I'm going to copy that into this file. Now, every time that a user has the dog, a uh, random dog picture on their ID token, that should be displayed on the profile page. And if I did everything right and go back into my application, you see our doggy. Oh, look at that. Isn't it cute? Oh, I love it. That's amazing. That was fun. And now you know how to add a custom claim to your user's ID tokens using actions. Isn't that fun? Of course, you might want to add something more serious to ID tokens or something else. 
and now you know how to do it. I hope you had a lot of fun uh, watching this video that I prepared for you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out the links in the description. We have a bunch of information about actions and documentation that you might want to see and all the other uses of actions in there. See you soon. Bye.